Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. So my lovelies, do I have a special treat for you today? Because I'm fully on the nostalgia train this week. I have actually been binging Skins season one and uh, I'm just about to start season two on Netflix. Now, this has nothing to do with the video today, but it holds such a huge amount of nostalgia for me because my friend group was kind of a bit like Skins. In fact, it was probably just as messed up, if I'm honest. When Skins came out, I was about 17, just turned 17, and it holds such a huge nostalgia factor in my heart. And it kind of reminded me of some of the other shows that I was watching around that time. She's an old lady. I mean, look at her. She's old. So I've already reacted to an episode of 10 years younger about a year ago now. It's because you're really flat chested. My goodness, is time actually flying? That's a bit alarming. Don't like that girls. Absolutely not. And it was quite a state of a transformation, shall I say. I was actually shocked for such British TV to have such extreme plastic surgery and language surrounding plastic surgery on... Well, on British TV, there, I said it. How about that? <laughs> I'm very, very used to the idea of, like, American shows and American extreme makeover shows. For example, The Swan, extreme makeover. I want a famous face. That It always does kind of surprise me that we had our own kind of nonsense on television at that time in the UK that wasn't just fashion nonsense like Trini and Susanna. So my lovelies, today we are watching 10 Years Younger, The Dental Surgery Transformation. And it is about Jenny Ingram, who is 43 and is a self-confessed wreck. I mean, if that's not a relatable content sentence, then I don't know what is. Are you a self-confessed wreck? I know that I am. Sometimes late at night by myself, feeling nostalgia. <laughs> so my lovelies, without any further ado, make sure you get your beverage at the ready today. I am back on the Monster Ultra Fiesta Mango. It's my absolute favorite. If you get the opportunity to try this, do it. Also Monster, if you're out there and watching, I don't know why you would be. Should we get some dental work together? I want your gum tissue. Sponsor me if you fancy it. Do you start the day with an hour's yoga? Absolutely a not. A smoothie of organic apples and a leisurely jog to work? No, neither. How can you start your day? Like, I know there are fitness people out there. I am a kind of a fitnessy person. Since about January, I've been on a fitness journey. Can you tell? Ha! <laughs> I could not imagine starting my day with an hour's yoga. Don't even spit, don't even look at me first thing in the morning. How dare you? You horrible, horrible girl. Did Jenny Ingram. She lived Jenny life goes. in the fast lane and it showed. It. Let's go, let's go. Burning the candle at both ends has a habit of catching up with you. Knowing I haven't got any front teeth oh, no. does not make you feel good as a woman. Right, so Jenny lives life in the fast lane and we were demonstrated that because she was yelling out of her car window. Is that what you would consider the fast lane? I think I lived in the fast lane for a few years and I don't think it was that. Love isn't always blind. Oh! She dresses like a complete slob. Fortunately, the age-busting team- Sir, I don't think you did much better. Look at this, dressed like a complete slob. She dresses- You think you get to comment on people's appearance in a duck egg blue denim shirt? I don't think. Fortunately, the age-busting team are on hand to help turn Jenny's Ooh, life around. Plastic lady! Did she turn it around for good? It's a year on, and Nikki's back to find out. Ten years younger girl, she's got scouts. Admin manager Jenny Ingram Admin. doesn't have any illusions about her appearance. Yeah, I look like a, a wreck, really. I mean, most of the time. She I feel really sad hearing that because, I mean... Clearly she could use a makeover to make herself feel better. I mean, I have eyes. People want to feel their best and they feel their best usually when they look their best. I can completely understand that. The idea that the narrator there has sort of stated that like, yeah, she fucking knows it, doesn't she? Yeah, look at the state of her. It's a bit like, oh, it's kind of a bit mean. I don't know, I just feel like a lot of these shows are kind of mean-spirited and I feel like that's a reality TV aspect that I hope we have left in the past, but I mean, I don't watch modern day reality TV shows, so maybe it's not. Yeah, I look like a, a wreck, really. I mean, she most reminds of, me of the my time. Mom's friends, she hasn't had a decent a haircut for 15 years and she's a stranger to the skincare counter. Oh, but look at her drinking wine. She fuels her stressful job with fizzy drinks and then there's the cigarettes. <laughs> me too. It's kind of an ongoing effect from my 20s, really, of mis misspent youth. And I'm paying for it now. 
Unfortunately, yes, smoking will age your skin. Like, it, it, it's a fact now, right? It's a fact we all know. And the reason she's given up Ooh, all hope this close -up? is her hidden secret. Hidden secret? I wear a plate across my front teeth. So... Did they really need to impose a scream there? Did they? They really need to impose a scream there. But virtually no front teeth. 15 Ooh. years ago, Jenny spent a fortune on dental work, only for her teeth to crumble and end up in a worse state. What? Her mouth is now so bad that she's beyond caring. It just all feels so hopeless, really. It's just... Did you hear that? She'd already spent a lot of money on her teeth previously. I wonder, now from those kind of like, the shape of those teeth, it kind of looks like she might have had those veneers where they shave down the teeth to little nubs and then put porcelain veneers over the top. It kind of looked like she had that. Now, I don't know if they'll reveal that throughout the show. I mean, we're only a minute in and it's an hour long. So let's see. Just a horrible, horrible mess. Mm. A horrible mess that's making her look older than her years. To see how bad the problem really is, we stuck her on the streets of London. We got Londoners to tell her she's fucking ugly. <laughs> of her age. I think she's about 48. 48. I say she's a little bit older, probably about 50. 50. Probably because it's about the same age as my mother. I think she's 65. 65? 49. It's just the colour of her hair, the grey. I think she's 50 because her face is quite a lot of wrinkles around. Oh, oh. I think is my she's out for blood. That. I would have guessed about 51. I'd say she's about 42. God, that went on for a bit, didn't it? So the thing about asking people their ages is that I've come to realise nobody knows anybody's age ever. It's actually very difficult to tell someone's age. So when I buy these at my local shop, I was about to say dispensary. No! At my local shop, I get ID'd to buy these. Me. I'm 33 years old. And you can't sell them to anyone under 16 in the UK. So that must mean that someone thinks that with these... I am 15 years old. Even though I know it's challenge 25, I think I look older than 25, don't you? Do you honestly think that I'm 15 years old? 15? 15. I don't even get ID'd going into bars, but buying energy drinks? Absolutely. Girls put Jenny in her 40s, but most were in a lot 40s. less charitable. Some going as far as a toe curling 65. Well, the, the thing is that she's 43, isn't she? So people guessing that she's actually in her 40s is kind of correct, but this show will want to be like, oh my God, we've rolled back 18 yards. Patrick, come up. Depressing 52. Nikki Hamilton-Jones, oh, the is. fashion stylist who'll be masterminding Jenny's transformation, tries to break Quickly, the news Quickly, wiggle out that disgusting possible. top. Put a skirt back. So Jenny, how did you find the pole? The pole, the pole was just about the weirdest thing I've ever done, actually. And uh, now we're going to review the footage to make you feel even worse. Do you know what we need you to do? Fully surrender to the programme. Break you down to build you up. No such thing, sis. Now I'm going to show you the results of that poll. <laughs> How does Nikki keep her hair so straight? Well, I think she's about 52. She just looks... I don't know. She's Where are they? Really Where tired. is this? Uh, I think she's 50. Oh, my God. Did you see that in the background? Look at that horrific demonic pink poodle in the background behind this woman's head. Fetch me their soul. That is disgusting. Tired. Uh, I think she's 50. 50. Grey hair, quite pinky. I reckon she's about 63 years old. She looks like 50. Probably about 56. Yeah, 56. Oh. Um, it's a bit like my mum's sort of age. She's about 52. Look at the way she's dressed. Uh, do you think, what did you say? She looks like she's going to go painting. She looks like she's done a decorating in those pants. Have you done the decorating in those pants? I have done the decorating <laughs> in these pants, <laughs> yes, oh. I must be said. <laughs> so, Jenny, I mean, we heard a lot of grey hair, wrinkles, you know, saggy clothes. I mean, was there anything that really shocked you? I really... Apart from being disgusting, grey haired, wrinkly, old, baggy lady, is there anything that surprised you? Anything at all? Go on, tell us your deepest, darkest insecurities. For TV ratings, go on, sis, share with the class. Uh. Nikki Hambleton Jones really reminds me of what's the mum's name in The Golden Compass? What's her, in the, in his dark materials, the mum's name? I know she's not actually blonde in the books, but she should be. Saggy clothes, I mean. Was there anything that really shocked you? I really feel quite upset about the number of people who said, oh, you look like my mother. And it's just very sad to be faced with that, really. Very sad we to be told you look like my mum. 
Even I said she looked like my mum's friends. Mm -hmm. Tell me your real age. 44. Oh, Jenny, what no, happened? No, it's what not happened? good. And I've just let it all go, really. Just let the whole thing slip and slide. Wait, so this woman is 11 years older than me. Just goes to show you what a good skincare routine can do. Oh, and plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I've become one of those people. Oh, oops. Jenny, I can see that deep down inside you, there is still that gorgeous, sexy woman. So... Can you I'll see that with your third myself eye? myself and all the experts I've got lined up is to really rediscover that and give you back that confidence. Yes, I hate please. her turtle shell yes, glasses. Please. Right, here we Rome go. Rome was not built in a day and Jenny's face is going to need a lot of work. Well, missing... I mean, to be honest, with a nice hairstyle, obviously she needs some dental work done. That's why we're here. That's why it's called dental surgery transformation, girls. Teeth have caused her gums to shrink. Shrunken in turn gums. has caused her cheeks to... Oh, no. Not the gum tissue. I want your gum tissue. Collapse, giving her a hollow, drawn expression. Right. The lines hollow, on her forehead hollow, are more like gappy woman. than wrinkles. Wrinkly. And the tangled greying hair makes her look like Gray. she's been living in a commune since the 60s. These days, you don't hit 40 and reach for the comfy shoes and big knickers. Women in their 40s are hot. Jenny's exactly the same age as desperate housewife Marcia Cross, ultra-glamorous dynasty star Heather Locklear, and romantic leading lady Meg Ryan. I think we All might be women... forgetting, though, that these are multi-millionaires who spend their entire career on camera, so they will obviously look a very specific way. Jenny here is an administrator. Why don't you show us a photo of politicians in the UK who are also the same age as Jenny, and not necessarily Hollywood stars? And have teams of stylists toiling day and night to do. make them look fabulous. We all would and love a team exactly of stylists. That's what Nikki has arranged for Jenny. Right. To tidy up her face, we have cosmetic surgeon Jan Stanek. Tidy up her face? Oh yeah, do a little bit tidying up, girl. The amount of women at home that would have been watching in 2007 when this was aired in the UK saying, Why? Oh, I could do with, I could probably do with a plastic surgeon to just tidy up my face. It's one of those little phrases that will stick in your mind and you'll just think about it constantly like a little earworm being like, oh, why don't I just go and do a little bit tidying up at the plastic surgeon? Not everyone needs plastic surgery. I am pro plastic surgery, but only if you want it. Don't let anyone else talk you into it. To tame her unruly locks, hairdresser Andrew Barton. But the Not man with Andrew the biggest job of all ah! is unquestionably dentist Sarinda Hundle. Oh no, we just saw a fat removal from the eyelid. Mm. Sarinda. Hi, Jenny, how are you? Hi, I'm Oh, fine. what's different this? Time is we're not just in somebody's random room with them leaning against a chest of drawers. There's no pit trick. Come up. Hi, Jenny, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. So you're going to give me a big smile? <laughs> At the top, we've got a denture, which is partly broken, and the rest of the teeth are all missing. Yes. Lots of decay on the bottom teeth, and if you open really, really wide, a number of missing lower teeth. Do you mind taking your dentures out? Oh. OK, now give me a smile. OK. And what's happened here is because we've got some roots and some missing teeth, all the bone around here has collapsed in, so you've lost the framework of the face, and that gives an effect of ageing straight away. So what is the solution? I mean, what can we do? I mean, is wow. dentures the only option? We what do you mean, what can we do? Nick, what can we do? You can't do anything. We have to remove everything that's actually infected and that's decayed and which is rotten. And when we actually start giving you back what you've lost, you'll actually start getting a bit more support mm -hmm. and you'll look so much younger straight away. He's got his work cut off. Oh. <laughs> you want to put your teeth? Don't make a joke like that. Like, pe people are very sensitive about their teeth and it can be... Shows like this can be done in such an uplifting, amazing way and I don't feel like that was very uplifting. It just kind of seemed like, oh, he's got his work cut out for me, isn't he, Jenny? And she's like, yes, yes, he has, Nikki, yes. Uh, but also, he didn't really tell us what we were going to see as the dental transformation then. I guess we might see it later on in the show. I'm guessing probably implants, right? Which is a long healing recovery process. So I wonder how they will show that if they go down that route. Back in now, madam, before Thank we, uh, we get the surgeon round. <laughs> Jan, what can you do? We can do a few things, like we can get her skin looking much better. Oh, and like. also we can give her a much fresher look by simply removing her eye bags and taking away some of the excess skin from the top lids. Uh, do a, brow um, lid? a chemical peeling on... on a blepharoplasty potentially. Oh, and a chemical peel. Lovely. And lastly, we're going to um, do some Botox in the forehead. Botox. And that's what I would suggest because I think the dental work is the most important part. Yes. Andrew? 
Andrew. It's straw rather than stylish. <laughs> Bale of what? hay, I. It's straw rather than stylish. <laughs> Bale of hay, I. It. It's not straw. But then the big thing so, is. I don't think you can talk perm. about hair. No. You're going to have a modern perm. It's going to be light. It's going to be soft. And it's going to look gorgeous. A perm? She already looks like she has quite a nice wave pattern. All she needs is it's gonna be some light, updating. It's going to be soft. And it's going to look gorgeous. A soft perm. A soft perm? It's fashion. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it, a soft perm. Wow, you're going to have a magic wand waved yeah, over you, I'm aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not a magic wand, but certainly hours of work in the dentist chair to put yes. a smile back on her face. Not a magic wand. Surgery to remove the fleshy eyelids and bags. A chemical peel fleshy to reveal eyes. younger skin. Botox to smooth her troubled brow. A haircut, colour, and yes, you heard right, perm. And finally, Nikki will try to bring her wardrobe back from the edge. I do find it funny how Nikki is the host, but she's the only one that like, all she does is, I don't know, all she does is kind of like look in wardrobes. <laughs> she doesn't like do anything major. She just kind of like says like, oh, what about a nice colorful skirt? Yeah, I like this. Not a moment too soon. She's gone from chic to shabby chic. Shabby. She dresses Who like a that? complete slob. Uh, speak to she yourself, She dresses sir. like a tramp. Oh! Rude. Admin manager Jenny Ingram. Do you really think she looks this bad? I mean, I know that she's got to have a lot of dental work done, but, like, she's got a lovely nose shape. Her skin, although it's, you know, smoker's skin, still looks in particularly good condition. She could bring it back from the edge with just a really good skincare routine here. Salicylic acid, girls. Niacinamide. Bit of, bit of filler, maybe a little bit of filler? We love some filler, don't we, girls? Mary has had surgery on her vagina to gain what she calls the fattest vagina in the world. It's an ageing hippie in need of an A-list overhaul. An ageing hippie. She's only 44, but one 100 impartial onlookers put her age at a scary I feel like an aging hippie sometimes and there's one other confession she needs to get off her chest oh no do you actually clean your teeth twice a day if I was kind of going out to a party yeah I would clean my teeth or if I've been out for a big meal but actually if I'm honest I'm ashamed to say it day to day no, I didn't clean my oh, teeth. Oh, no. Today. Okay, no, you have to clean your teeth twice per day. You have to. Not only do you have to clean your teeth, you have to scrub your tongue. The amount of people that don't actually clean their tongue either is very strange. I have a specific brush for cleaning my tongue and I feel so much fresher afterwards. And also a mouthwash. I actually end up using a peroxide based mouthwash just for that little bit of extra cleansing when I need it. I don't use mouthwash every day because I kind of feel like it's not exactly the best for you, especially for your gut microbiome. But dental hygiene is necessary because teeth are expensive. Teeth are very expensive. Look at Nikki's face here. She's about to be like, you don't clean your nail. It's because you're really flat chested. So bad. She's I horrendous. can't believe it. It's oh. horrendous. It's a day are about to add up to four hours in the dentist chair. Right. If nothing else, that should encourage Jenny to invest in a toothbrush. She'll need to quit smoking too. It restricts blood flow to the gums, causing disease and eventually tooth loss. Did, did, well, hang on, they said that so quick, she'll need to quit smoking. Do you realise that this is like a lifelong habit? So it's not just, she needs to quit smoking. It's like, oh, there needs to be a step-by-step -step process there to cut it out. Do you know what I mean? It's actually very difficult for a lot of people to stop smoking. You can actually go on like medication to help smoking cessation as well. There's a lot of decay in these teeth. Okay, right, what's he doing? Teeth, a lot of old filling. So, and unfortunately, that's just destruction from poor oral hygiene. Every Jenny comes needs out. five anaesthetic jabs and a soothing foot massage to deaden the pain that comes with having years of decay ground away from her Sorry, teeth. she's getting a foot, a foot massage whilst having her ten... What? Have, have you... What? Have you ever heard of getting a foot massage while a, you're in the dentist chair? I have never... Never! I would never. I have never. I would never. Three really bad roots. Three bad roots. Three Plus blind mice. Else, it or not. <gasps> With some stitching to the gums, Surinder finishes his rescue work. Jenny will have to come back to have an array of... I didn't realise you could do that. That's kind of really shook me, actually. Oh, my goodness. That was a very graphic moment. I don't think I'm going to be able to show it. So, but I can describe it for you. Stitching through the gum. Like, literally through the gums. Stitching. Dental stitching. 
Oh, 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 I haven't seen that yet on this Chanel, girls. I thought we'd seen everything. Crowns, bridges, and dentures fitted. Crowns, In the meantime, bridges, and dentures. He kits her out with some temporaries. How did that happen? That's just so fantastic. Oh. It's really amazing. Oh, oh she's all numb still. Yeah. More than, more than. Good. It's fantastic. So important, aren't they? These are the temporaries. I look like a normal human being again. But we're looking for a lot more than just normal. A lot more. We're looking for the full Hollywood headlights on main beam razzle dazzle. Okay. Hollywood stars really do understand the importance of a beautiful smile. Celine Dion's uh, earlier photographs show a totally different person. You know, you wouldn't even recognize her. And when we look at the teeth, the teeth, especially the front ones, are very long, they're very narrow. And the focus, when you look at the middle part of her face, was the nose, the teeth, and the chin. So straight away, when you're looking at it, that's all you see. And looking at the pictures of today, totally different, having her teeth done. Oh, so wow, yes! That her middle part of the face isn't so long, but it's actually become wider now, it's balanced everything out. And it's remarkable by simply changing one aspect. I love listening to doctors talk about like how we perceive faces because it's very telling of just what people will have done in order to appear a very specific way. Hmm, clocked myself at the pageant there. How everything else in the face, the symmetry and everything can change. And yeah, now she's wow. got to create a match as well. With Tom Cruise and his looks early incredible. Pictures, uh, one can clearly see he's got very crooked teeth. So the weird thing about Tom Cruise is he has a single tooth right in the middle of his face. You can really see it there. It's kind of like underneath this bit, the septum of his nose. He just has a tooth right in the center. They're very crowded, they're very discolored, and he's got a high lip line which shows a bit of gum. As time's gone on, he's actually worn braces to get the teeth straighter, to align the teeth. The world's biggest oh. movie star wearing braces makes it a lot cooler and more acceptable for everyone else to wear braces. Uh, well, Finally, so. he's finished off with ceramics and whitening to give the look that he's got today. While Jenny huh. recovers from her experience in the dentist chair. That was actually quite an interesting little insight there into what celebrities get done because we, have we seen that before in any of these shows? I don't think we've had like a celebrity breakdown. I feel like nowadays, especially with YouTube, it's actually quite nice to watch like potential celebrity breakdown of surgery and treatments because it kind of demystifies it a lot for us, the regular folk, if you know what I mean. That was an interesting thing to have on TV back in 2007, I think, 2006, 2007. Nikki. Oh, look at those boots. Diverts to stow on the wall to check out Jenny's wardrobe. Two she tops, prepares herself capris for the shock and by boots. asking for a full and frank appraisal from Jenny's partner, Mickey, and best friend, Sarah Jane. Wait, Jenny's her partner? Her partner said she dresses like a slob and looks like a tramp. Get in the bin. Get in the bin. Merch available now. Well, at the moment, it's become quite shabby. She shabby. dresses like a slob because she knows she doesn't need to present an image. She's gone from chic to shabby chic to shabby. Good point. But are there any specific items that need binning? I'll tell you what. <laughs> There's this one particular pair of tracksuit bottoms uh, that sir? really upset me. Well, not this pair. Uh, that very pair. <laughs> they are revolting. Please. Sh sorry. I'll tell you what. <laughs> He's being really quite vicious, but he looks, looks like a gender-swapped version of her. He needs to take a second and look in the mirror himself, sis. I could not believe it. Jenny is tiny. I mean, look at the size of this jumper. Jenny is... But it's nice to have a large very jumper. Lady. He's got yeah. a stunning figure. A Ruta Vega. And yet... He dresses like a sack. Totally. <sighs> so He's vicious. So, Jenny's been wearing John Prescott's cast-offs. What else? Great. John Brown, Prescott's yeah. cast Black, off. Shapeless. I have not seen John Prescott wearing a large, oversized jumper before. Have you? <laughs> what else? Grey, brown, yes. black, shapeless, hired, dated. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Sounds like me on a hangover. T-shirt. Mm. After tie t-shirt. I mean, Jenny's well known for going out shopping. She goes into these really wonderful places looking around, de determined to come out with something radical. And comes back with shapeless black, black monstrosity. And then we have... That's right. A selection of trousers. Donna Karen. Prada. Oh, no. It's and she's never worn them. <laughs> Prada? I would like to get a great big thin liner and just open it up and chuck everything that is grey, manky, old, 80s, mothy, whatever. 
and just did a great big bin lander and just chuck it out. I think, well, it looks like, it actually looked like she had quite a, like a slender physique as well. So it's one of those things where you wonder, why is everything so oversized? If everything was fitted a bit nicer, maybe some of these older clothes could be upcycled into newer outfits, you know? It sounds like she has an idea of the style that she wants to have, Maybe she just needs a little bit of a sewing machine and a half an hour a month kind of thing to be like, zip, zip, add a dart to this, make it slim and fit nice. West London it's been Clinic. A week since Jenny surrendered herself to Surinder's See, job. I don't think that now fashion looks awful. Face up to the surgeon's knife. I mean, it's very 2000. Work cool. hard, play hard has always been Jenny's mantra. All that stress, drinking and smoking have left her with deep wrinkles and droopy eye bags. God, they love this close up zoom. I don't need to see inside this woman's pores. Jenny never found the time. Everyone would look a bit grim if you were that close. Like, even I have pores and, like, pimples at the moment and stuff like that. Like, if you did a Zoom that close to me, I'd be like, Oh, get away. What do you think I am? 88? I've got a bucket of piss, sweetie. If she'd carried on like this, our predictions show this is what she would have looked like. Oh, we've got an aging feature. Sallow skin, a withered neck, dark smudges under her eyes, and significantly deeper wrinkles. A withered neck. Now she has a chance to turn back the clock. Surgery is a major step, tissue. and while it's not the answer for everyone, Ooh. Jenny has reached the decision to go ahead. An eye lift. Jan first tackles those drooping eyelids. It's a procedure he's carried out many times A blepharoplasty, right? Oh, is that what that is? Lovely, lovely. So we better expose the young lady and do a peel. So, first of all, we and decrease the peel. skin. In the past, if a surgeon had suggested using acid to burn away your skin, you would have tried to have them struck off. These days, the chemical peel is one of the most common cosmetic procedures and can knock six to eight years off the skin's apparent age. Oh, this the is a pretty... The burn skin will remain attached for three to four days, providing a barrier to infection. I wish they had have said what um, chemical peel they're doing there. I would love to know what that is. Because some of these older chemical peels are not used now because they're so invasive. Okay. Exposure to bright sunshine is strictly off limits for the next three months. Yes. So there we are. That's, that's it. Done. Because the skin is raw. Jenny's surgery went oh, like a goodness. dream, and she returns home to recover. Right, she's in the pub. Jenny, I'm absolutely amazed at your skin. <gasps> it Genoa, I'm absolutely amazed at your flesh. It looks incredible. I mean, obviously, I know you're peeling at the moment. <laughs> the, the she does look really good. The operation, your eyes, your cheeks. I mean, you have cheeks wow. again now. <laughs> oh my goodness, her eyes are so much more open. Let me re amazing. Her eyes are so much more like awake and alive and open. I know she kind of looks a bit messed up because of skin peels, but this is the reality of skin peels. This teeth, this eyes, this is actually looking really good, but I just wish they'd done it in a way that was uplifting and not like, oh, she's scum. You look gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. It's just going to take some getting used to. So tell I me agree. how the surgery go. It suddenly felt like, oh God, you know, my face is changing. I am going to have to change with this. I felt kind of quite overwhelmed by that and it's like oh my god you know, I've got it to is overwhelming about how and how i do things the way i do things taking responsibility looking good when i go out you know this is just the beginning i, I, mean, I cannot believe how much bigger and open her eyes look intrigued to see do you have any pictures of how you used to look like 10 10 15 20 years ago i do indeed because your face has oh, changed we go. so much with all the work that you've had done and i'm wondering whether you're getting more like you used to look here we go that was when I was in my late teens. Your skin looks amazing in there. Your hair, you know, so rich and healthy and glossy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. That's gorgeous. Yes, that was in New York. What a weird... like a model there. I mean, I think I looked my best during those years, yeah. which was um, my late twenties. Yeah, I think you look great there. Your lovely skin, hair looks good. Your teeth look, look good there hair. as well. So, what happened between? Oh, here we go. There. Trauma porn. Where, where you are now. It's hard to know, to know what happened, but I think it was just kind of general live rubbish oh. kind of over Oh, my goodness. I'm actually quite surprised that we didn't get a moment there of like, well, I lost my entire world in the great jewellery heist of 1924. Do you know what I mean? Like, all of these shows usually have a really heavy underlying, like storyline which they exploit for reality TV views. The general live rubbish kind of that. overtook that thing about remembering 
to go out and look nice about yourself and take care yes, of yourself. Yes, I will say, anyone in the audience who is potentially thinking like, oh, you know, my skin doesn't look as bright and youthful as it used to, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is right now. Go out and get yourself a little salicylic acid, a little bit of niacinamide and a decent moisturizer, and that is a perfect way to start your skincare routine. My personal favorite moisturizer is CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. Look nice about yourself and take care of yourself. Yes. And use your body and kind of communicate in that way. I don't know. Does this person still exist? Deep inside, deep inside, I think she's still there. It's going to take some Ooh, digging out, but she is definitely still there. Ooh. Jeans? Great idea. Jenny's figure's in terrific shape. Not that you'd have noticed. For years, she's been hiding it under baggy, swampy Ooh. clothes. Yeah, she does need a bit of a makeover. That's but I still hope they keep her essence. Nikki is going to confront Jenny with the horrors that lie hidden within her wardrobe. So tell me where you'd wear the sack. Huh. This is my weekend outfit. This is my casual outfit. This is what I do to walk, this is what I wear to walk the dog at weekends. I mean, I, I get up on a Saturday and wear it until Sunday night, really. Okay, so yes, maybe it's fine for walking the dog, but like if you're gonna pop and see friends, maybe a more fitted, shapeful jumper is a better idea. Now, I'm about to say something here, which goes against the very fabric of my entire existence. I made myself jump then. Did you see that? I actually think a pop of color would really work in her wardrobe. I think it would just add a bit of life to her skin and her face and her hair and her lifestyle. Whereas usually I would say dress in black, but I think black adds a mystique for me. For her, I think it might just seem a little bit too casual. Do you know what I mean? Jen, it's falling apart. It's painted. It, it, those, the, I hate I them. Mean, yeah, I know. Hate you it. look like a tramp in this. It's Stop so saying tramp. I mean, I... People can't, like, uh, homeless people can't help it. Stop calling them tramps. It's not very good, is it? I mean, I haven't, do you know what? I haven't seen myself in a mirror with it on. I mean, I look, look at this. How massive is this top? Well, and yeah. and look at you. Yeah. <gasps> wow, that is quite a big a difference. Figure. That is amazing, actually. It's beautiful. Put a nice waist. belt around it, I mean, pair of high waisted boots. Why do you hide it? High waisted boots? Layers. Over knee boots. Fabric. Done. I don't know. I don't know what's happened, really. It's just I don't understand ridiculous. the need to wear rags. Because at the end of the day, how good does this make you feel? Her eyes are so like open now. Rubbish. I mean, it just makes me feel yeah. like rubbish. Well, you look like rubbish. The granny returns. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The I granny returns? This is actually in at the moment. Um, Ma maybe not this exact outfit. shape, but the frills are definitely in right now. Me. Look um, at Nikki there. I actually quite like Nikki's outfit there. She looks a little bit like a Bond villain. But do you know what? The early 2000s and the mid 2000s were all about a big say something belt. Daytime tweed with an evening chiffon. It's a work outfit. This is what I'd wear during the week. Who wears skirts like that? <laughs> This is like a matron's outfit, and it's, it's more. It is a little bit aging. Oh, and just while we're on this outfit, but also if she wants to dress like that. Over that as it is winter, and I know this is your favourite winter coat. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. This is my kind of. Oh, it's a bit dowdy, isn't it? Dowdy. Dowdy. Do wear it to go to meetings in as well. Do people listen to what you say at the meetings? Probably not. Have you got they your kind of glasses to. with you? Yes, I have. I just, I just want to illustrate a point quickly. Just want to finish off this picture we're creating. How old do you think you look? Oh, oh dear. <gasps> About 104, really. <laughs> I do think I look old. This is you after you've had surgery, after you, you had work on your teeth, yeah. and you yeah. still look like a pensioner. Kind of hard to disagree there. I think the way that Nikki went around saying that was a bit vicious, if I'm honest, but it kind of fits into this narrative of like, the fashion industry is vicious, girl. Janice Dickinson's modeling. But also, there is a point in like, she was dressing older than she, than would be flattering for her, should we say. I just had to take a little break there to get myself another beverage. Now I'm on the Pepsi Max. Oh, in my skull. Look at this. Ten years younger. Ten years gout. Instead of trying to create curves, she wears baggy clothes that leave her looking like a scarecrow. A scarecrow. This I'll get is grip. the season Hourglass Femininity returned to the catwalk. That's oh, good news for curvy and skinny women alike. To define and emphasise Jenny's shape, the autumn winter collections have the answer. Right. 
Donna Karen used wide belts. This is the first time we have seen a peek at actually what is trending in the runway world. Whereas on something like uh, Trini and Susanna's What Not To Wear, we never see anything of this. We just have like the judgment of two corpses being like, Hello, get your tits out. Cinched at the waist to emphasize the full shape of Cinched her jacket the waist. and capes. Shaved at the neck. Gout. Max Mara created curves by using a soft tulip shape in this skirt. At Chanel, piling on the layers breaks up the angular line Chanel to the slim models. Oh. Wide shoulders with wide leg trousers gives an hourglass effect, even when the curves are an illusion. Oh. Most of us wouldn't take it to such extremes as John Galliano, but less flamboyant interpretation... John Galliano, acid clown. ...through onto the high street. But before building Jenny up, Nikki is going to have to do some stripping back. Right. Your All right, here we are, back again with the Say Something belt. Oh, good. Okay. Brianna, okay. starting from scratch. I would love to see a battle royale between Trini and Susanna and Nikki Hambleton Jones. We're going to build up a whole new look for you. Right. It's all going to be about volume, putting meat on your bones, and creating shape. Okay. 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 Let's just okay. have some fun, try on a few pieces, mm -hmm. and it will give me a lead in terms of what kind of looks we can experiment with. Okay. So let's start off with this. Let's Are we listening to her? Too. Something like this. Wow. Over a pair of trousers, even, or a pair of jeans. Trousers. Really want... Dresses over trousers are such a 2000s statement. Like, I don't often see people wearing it now. I don't think I see anyone wear it now. At the moment, we seem to be in the era of the bodycon dress. But this sort of, like, flowy situation, very hippie vibes with trousers or jeans underneath, was such a staple of the mid-2000s. Like, Every girl in my high school who was alternative would wear this outfit. If you're watching, Helen, I'm talking about you. You went into the waist, so we really emphasize your waist, but then we've got the volume around the, the empire. Empire. It helps create that sense of shape rather than something sense straight up and down. Shape. But we don't want to drown you. So this to me is a little bit big here. I need to go for something that's perhaps got a little bit so more shape. So what I'm saying is that I've put you in this outfit and gone, oh yeah, sir, today I have done fashion, but actually at the same time, I'm not doing fashion. Notice still, we haven't asked her what her favorite color is, what the favorite shape is, what her favorite body part is, what she would like to accentuate, what she would like to shrink. Have you noticed still? But then really kicks out below. Kicks out below. Mm -hmm. That to me works a lot better. Does it? Really. Why? I mean, it's, we've still got a bit of volume around the leg area, print. but it's not too much. We've really got, you know, emphasis. Not too waist much. Here. Yeah. But again, the detail here also helps give you more of a chest. Yeah, Stop really really drawing the tension. Groping her bosom. So this, is, this is the season's cannot version. This is the They're season. They're casual, practical. They're comfortable. Again, we're getting yeah. a lot of volume around the leg, but we haven't lost the shape around the hip and the waist area. But then we've put the volume around the leg. Which gives more, puts more meat I want to see this outfit full, full shot, please. I want to judge that. I'll be the judge of that. Gosh, this is very colourful for me. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to try. Oh dear. Very medieval peasant. But the Empire La. I have a love-hate relationship with purple. I sort of hate it. I feel like it's an in-between colour that is neither warm nor cool, but is neither light nor dark. It's just purple. But I still love wearing it as eyeshadow. Isn't that strange? Give it a bit of colour and just see how the colour actually sits colour. on you. And again, we've got a lot of volume in the sleeves. Volume. Over the top. Volume everywhere. Maybe a Bump it. Shape here. Or maybe I can put a belt or something around that. Actually, I say something nice. belt. Oh, very nice. I'm... I'm Potential and possibilities there with that one. Well, so. that's it. And it's just, it's looking at things and thinking, okay, not quite right. Could I make it work? Could not make it work? And I think we could make something that like works. this work. What did she just say? Like it's looking at things. It's observing them. It's looking what can work and what might not work. That is a rule for, like, every single industry on the planet, sis. So we've got volume on the cape, but it's because it's shorter, we instantly get that sense of waist underneath. And it's right. still loose and comfortable and all those things that, you know, you really like in clothes. And, you know, you're moving Given. so differently now. We Why does she want to dress her like a bell? Everything needs to be like a bell or a cartoon Christmas tree. I'm sorry, no. Okay, now yeah. this is like to... Do you? Yes. Oh yeah, I like that. <laughs> Your figures aren't too far away from each other and you're like, I'm gonna wear slim things. She needs to wear bells. <laughs> Nikki's gradually chipping away at Jenny's resistance to change. Will Surrender be as successful? Jenny's formed an emotional attachment to those temporaries. Yeah. I okay. was in two minds about whether to come and see you today because I know that you're going to take out these teeth and I've really, really enjoyed having them. Yeah. 
But those acrylic temporaries have got to go. Yeah, they're the temporary. The good news is that the beautiful new crowns and bridges Surinder's fitting today will be ten times stronger oh. and less sensitive. Yes. If somebody's really Pop goes to the, the slut. Like, for example, Jenny here. You don't smile as much because if you've got missing teeth, everything collapses. And because everything collapses, the skin and the folds around the face collapse and things start sagging. Da, 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 da. Jenny's already Destiny confessed child? to being woefully negligent with her dental hygiene. So if these babies are going to last, she oh, needs to yeah. clean up her act. I think God. you should be brushing them at least twice a day, really. Clean up your act, sis. Is excellent. If you're a smoker, you drink alcohol a lot, you just got bad pathology, one of the places that everything actually sits on is the tongue. Oh. So you should be cleaning your tongue with a tongue scraper every day, once a day as well. Cleaning From your now tongue? On, every time oh. Jenny looks in a mirror, she'll see all that lovely cosmetic dentistry smiling back. Right. Well worth looking after. That is an really incredible kind of fantastic, job. Utterly perfect. Perfect indeed. But Nikki and Jenny don't seem as convinced by Andrew Barton's ideas. Isn't Ooh. that really outdated? That's what I'm thinking. You're having it, so don't <laughs> even kind of think that you're going to talk yourself <laughs> out of it. Oh, you know what? Do you know what really bothers me about these shows is that if someone says, no, I don't really want that, oh, it's a bit outdated or whatever, and someone just goes, no, you're having it, sir. I'm like, mm, I don't think that that's correct, actually. You could just show her how to style her hair into a beautiful curled fashion. You don't necessarily be like, let's give you a perm if they said no, but I guess we'll see. She'll probably have this story arc that transforms into, yes. I really like the perm, but she probably won't keep up with it because they are huge maintenance. Da, 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 ten years. And Jenny's back at Jan Stanek's Jenny's surgery. back. The chemical peel eliminated Ooh, Jenny's Botox. lines and wrinkles. To keep them at bay, Jan injects Botox. It paralyzes the muscles in the face and lasts from three to four months. It does. I love a bit of Botox. Now that's over, she can forget about that the was scalpels quick. and drills and acid peels and injections and have some fun dressing up. Clothes can make women look slimmer or more curvy. A trick many use when they want to appear more shapely. Kira Knightley is a great example of somebody who has a very athletic, boyish figure. And when we see pictures of her in t-shirts and jeans, she looks very slender. She looks as if she's got no hips. Whereas when she wore a Roller Murray tweed dress recently, she cinched in the waist with a massive Yves Saint Laurent belt. And it really made her look as if she had kind of quite a curvy figure. It really gave her a waist. Sarah Jessica. The way that these magazine people talk about women's bodies and figures is just wild, isn't it? She looked like a boy, but then when she put this belt on, she had a waist. Like, it just leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Managers to use outrageous things like flamenco frills to make outrageous. her bottom half look fuller with a kind of bustier top. Suddenly there are curves there where you never imagined there were any before. Nikki's been busy finding She's new just outfits a woman that of curves. all important Filled curves with curves. to Jenny's beanpole shape. Right. Gosh, she's so grown up. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm speechless, but I absolutely love it. Okay. It's fantastic. Anyone else who age, I would never... That's the most important thing, is that she actually has, like, a, a wonderful reaction and really enjoys what she's doing. I just dream of putting them in an outfit like this. But because you are so slim, you can really carry it all. Slam. Remember that old wives' tale that says you must avoid horizontal stripes? Well, that certainly doesn't apply to Jenny. Where? This to me is the Jenny that I saw 10, 20 years ago in those photos you showed me at your house. Oh. Do you remember that girl? Yeah. And I was like, yeah. Oh, wow. It's starting to come back. I mean, that is, it's young, it's, I feel kind of feminine in it. I feel like I've got a shape. And a body, rather than just trying to kind of cover it up and pull mm. everything down. Okay. Oh dear. Layering the skirt over jeans adds bulk and breaks up the angular lines of Jenny's figure. Oh, a skirt it's over jeans! Another very 2000s it's, moment. You know, it's a little bit flirtatious. It kind of is. It's very boho. You could literally walk down the lanes in Brighton in this and you would fit in, sis. Creating volume isn't just about piling on the layers. Texture, colour and pattern help to build up and accentuate a skinny figure. Do you agree with me that you have got killer legs? They are. They're not bad, are they? <laughs> they are not bad legs. OK, we've got our I first compliment. It. Sweetie, the boys 
I'll kind of be like <laughs> the boys <laughs> all over you. Yeah, well, you've got an, an awful partner who's like she's a tramp. Nikki's leading Jenny into some unknown fashion territory. She's got a bit of pattern, a bit of movement. It also helps, you know, move the eye around your body and really it helps your move shape the, the eye, and completely the detaching from the optic nerve. Be fitted around Stop the waist. Harassing it's still her. floaty, but it's not a sack. Yes, I know. It's like nothing you've got in your wardrobe. And that's no, no, no. That, that is, is the, the busiest point. pattern I've ever seen. Grown up. I just don't know what to do. Yeah, but the thing is, you know, you kind of just grown up. You went from teenager to, to granny. Grown up. Yes. And, and now we're doing the kind of bit in between. Yeah, can I have lessons on the bit in between? <laughs> you are. This is it. Wow. Trini found shaking and crying. Oh my god. From the 70s have been rehabilitated and are perfect for Jenny. Oh, it's so nice having a bottom, let me tell you, it really is. Having a pocket on your bum again really helps give it shape, gives it that definition. And again, we've got volume on the sleeves and volume in the trousers, so we've still got our volume going on. I mean, we weirdly enough, this kind of style and colour palette does really suit her, I think, but also, is she wearing like a black vest under there as well? This woman has got so many clothes on, she's going to get heat stroke. <laughs> Empire You've discovered love. your bottom, you've discovered your waist, you've discovered your boobs. I mean, it's, it's discovered. just like a journey of discovery. It is, it really is. Where have they been all this time? I can't believe it. This season's crop jackets can be gathered at the back or pulled in with a belt to further flatter Jenny's straight up and down shape. It's giving me a bit English teacher vibes. Kind of wide leg culotte denim English crop trousers. Teachers. It gives, you go in at the waist and then out again. So it's really helping give us a curvaceous silhouette. A curvaceous Anyone else would in this top, but you. She's been proportionizing. You're so slim you can carry it off. It's oh. Gloucestershire or it's the King's Road. I like that. Totally. You know. And it's you. It is. It's, it's the me. old you. It's, 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 the, it's the you we read and we brought back. We kind of go, yes. he's still there. <laughs> We've like slowly brought her back. I must admit, though, here, unlike something that we would expect to see on Trini and Susanna, I feel like this style really does fit her kind of like, as they say, aging hippie boho chic kind of thing. I feel like all of these clothes pay attention to who she is as a human being and ha like how she wants to present herself through her fashion to the world, you know what I mean? Whereas comparing this to something like Trini and Susanna, it's very, they just tell you what you've got to wear and if you deviate from that, it's a problem on their Game Boy Advance SP. Here she is. Here she That's Jenny's winter wardrobe sorted, but what about those granny specs? Well, Jen, I've brought you to my favorite glasses shop. Oh, oh she's not gonna give her LASIK. Right, I think it's time to find you some more younger, fashionable frames. Let's take a look. Ooh. Getting the face furniture right depends very much face on the contrast furniture. between the shape of your face and the shape of the frame. Round faces need angular glasses. Angular faces need round ones. Ooh. That's very intense. Can we get rid of those, please? <laughs> they're, de so? okay. they're definitely not doing anything okay. for you on the youthful department. Right, now you've got quite a long face. Skateboards so and angular, glasses. Which is well suited to glasses, but I think we need to find you something that you can actually wear on the bridge of your nose rather than the end of your nose. Yeah, because that's where I'm used to having glasses. <laughs> With glasses, at least, size matters. They must be in proportion. Frames wider than the forehead can give an illusion oh. of width to a long face like Jenny's. No, no. There are no, no. <laughs> it's a good idea to choose your eyewear to chime in with your best features. Wow. Oh, goodness. Now, you know what? I never would have gone for this colour. Never in Electric a million years. Pink. But so this is a lady who always wore black and now wants to wear pink I'm a glasses. I'm a what has woman. happened? Seeing the world through rose-tinted glasses isn't for Jenny. Subtle brown and green frames complement her gorgeous hazel eyes. Brown and greens. So basically what she was told not to wear in her clothes? On the other side, it's, it's quite whizzy, isn't it? Whizzy. Bingo. Instantly, Jenny looks younger. Do you feel trendy? Do you feel hip? Do you feel fashionable? Yes, I do. I feel fashionable. Jenny's come a long That's quite way. quite sweet. And there's only one thing still letting her down. Okay, here we go. Hairdresser Andrew Barton's been waiting eight weeks to get his hands on her. New Jenny. Pam. Isn't she great? Fab. Look at those teeth. I know, aren't oh, they amazing? I want teeth like. Oh, they're amazing. I'm so. He says this every time. I oh, so look lovely. at your skin. I know. Happy peels. So beautiful. Oh, yeah. Now I can imagine a new Jenny with hair. Can we take it down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is Jenny's hair aging her? The main thing for me that ages it is the texture. 
Um, do you mean it's just this wild kind of bush of kind of texture? So you're going to change the texture by a pern? Isn't that really outdated? That's what I'm thinking. You're I'm having changing. it, so don't even <laughs> kind of think that you're going to talk yourself <laughs> out of it. Okay. Um, much of the perm is about what we wind it around. During the 70s and the 80s, we tended to perm hair on these type of things. Perm yes. Looks, and we went from little tiny ones through to kind of large Very ones. tight not, that curls, one of the yes. Ones. So if you imagine that Jenny's hair is wrapped five, six times around that length, do you mean it's going to give something quite curly? Yeah. And I don't, I don't want that. Um, right. So we'll throw those away for the rolls. However, look at these babies. Oh, yes, <laughs> I know these. It's the idea of a cone shape working from a smaller diameter to a wider diameter. Right. Okay. What we can do is we can start winding on, say, one curl at this end mm -hmm. so that we get a little bit smaller towards the end. Mm -hmm. Or we can do the other way around. What we'll get is a really natural, loose, open quite wide, fat curl, if you like. Basically, what she kind of already has naturally. Why don't you just make that work with her? 70s footballers and early ABBA videos. But it's time to forgive and forget. It could offer a cure for Jenny's frizzy hair. It works by chemically going to softening diet? the inner structure of the hair, enough to allow it to be reset around a roller. This, of course, does weaken the hair, so Jenny will have to take care when styling it. Yes. Oh, dear. But look already so far. How beautiful that is now. It's very curly. Very soft. Yeah, so it's Isn't really it shaped. curled? Yeah, it's curled. That's permanently curled now. Perm done, now for the cut. What I want to really do is just personalise the hair around the sensitised areas. So we'll just take away the more weaker, more damaged areas that were already there. Mm. So how much are we thinking? That were well, already we there? A, a, a few inches away. Mm. Um, on the inside of it and what I'd like to do is get something a bit snazzier around yes. from... Do you know, I can't wait for my hair to go grey. Going bleach blonde from grey is so much easier. Kind of off for a bit of a bohemian type look. Well, what a surprise, a bohemian look. Alright, get the scissors out, let's get chopping. Da, 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 Jenny's da, new da, barnet da. is not exactly a wash and barnet. go option but she can make it easier to style at home by getting it trimmed every five or six weeks. OK. Right, Jenny. She did already have a wave now, pattern, though. Next stage now is the colour. So let's oh, so he is going to dry cut. ends now. You can see already you've got kind of great shape to it already. Colouring uh, over a perm? Now, you'll definitely be ten years younger. Oh, yes, please. To match Jenny's new glasses and her hazel eyes, the hair's treated to a wonderful, warm, hazily brown rinse. It rinse. looks natural and gets rid of the grey too. Like a direct dye or a semi? Now, after eight weeks of hard work... Oh, they love these close-up shots, don't they? Oh my goodness! Wow, the transformation here is wild. I'm not sure I like the hair. I think... I think it kind of, I don't know how to say this without sounding like a complete bitch, but it kind of looks a little bit wiggy. I think they've put a little too much texture in it. That's just my opinion with 2022 vision, but there we go. But her teeth are incredible and her skin looks amazing. And the way they've done her makeup could be a little bit better, I suppose. Although I do like a little bit of upper liner. I don't like the bright white under the eyebrow, but it was very in for that time in makeup. Soft glowing face crowned by soft Soft glowing hair achieved she with looks the help paler of paler as well. Have they like taken All of her this out is of complemented by Nikki's Ooh. radical rethink of Jenny's old wardrobe, which more sequence has been hygienically disposed of. It's been an astonishing transformation. It is quite an astonishing transformation. The teeth are incredible. For the first time. Right here we go. Here we go, girls. The reveal. Yes, let's do this. Ooh. Ooh, no curtain budget. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> it's not me. That, it's that, not me. The transformation Look is the quite incredible, isn't it? And the face. I haven't smiled with like this. I still years think she's got too much like volume, I guess. And life. And I remember that Jenny when we tried on your old clothes and there you were 
hair back, grey <laughs> hair, gloves. <laughs> so nice, like, you're like this. And now, I mean, who could have believed? Who could have believed it? it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to cry because I'm not just, it'll ruin the whole outfit. <laughs> but it's just beautiful. <laughs> That the is quite an incredible transformation. I'm a little bit, and Jenny- I'm a little bit like spooked, actually, considering the narrator in this. I think the narrator of this show is kind of like the worst part in terms of like degraded language about the person who's appearing on this show. But actually, I feel like everyone along the way kind of is a sensible dare I say it, likeable member of the industry. Unlike things like Trini and Susanna and on The Swan, where everyone is just so aggressively degrading, shall we say? I feel like this one isn't anything like that, actually. We need to watch more of these. But just how old will the British public oh, here we perceive go. the new here we go. Jenny to be? The thing is, the thing is with this section, they will just cut out the ones that make her sound like she's older than she is and keep the ones that make her younger. Do you know what I mean? Because that fits the production narrative of being like, oh, it made you look 17,000 years younger. Can I ask you what age do you think Jenny is? Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, I'd look at him. 29, 34. Nice, good haircut, thick hair, well dressed, good figure. And she's got a nice face. 29? <laughs> 28, 29. Oh, right. She looks beautiful, but I don't think that's what a 28 year old looks like. Do I know what a 28 year old looks like? She looks about 22 to me. She looks, she looks very trendy. Doesn't look too old, but um, doesn't look like a teenager either. And it's about 37, 38. She looks kind of fresh faced and. Uh, hair looks good. I would say about. Oh, scene kids. Scene kid hairstyle. Hello. 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 Look at her, she's young. She, well, she looks young. She looks pretty trendy, pretty hip. I think she's 37. And what makes you say that? Because I'm quite a mature woman myself, so I'm yeah. looking at her and I think she's beautiful, but I can see that she's had her makeup and her hair done and she's got a fabulous figure. Ooh. She looks great. She's on the ball. She's this woman has a degree. The buzz on the street is pretty positive. The buzz. But will the bees on the street say yes, Queen? As, as bit. Yes. Kind of so how old? And kind of, you know, how old? Certainly a better experience, and I think I hope the feedback was better. So your original poll age was fifty-two. Yes. It was yes. Yeah. On my brain forever that age. <laughs> and your new poll age is thirty-six. <gasps> 36. 36. 36. Oh my god. <laughs> and just eight weeks it. of plastic surgery. 36. Never thought. I did. I, I knew. I knew. I'd see my 16 years younger, again. right? 36. 16. 16 years younger, my friend. I can't that. She could have had a baby. And you and I don't think we've ever done 16 years off. So oh, it's the most. Well, then you. Hurrah, oh, everybody cheers. Oh. Mark, Nikki Hambleton's statement belt. It's been 12 months since Jenny Ingram was transformed 12 by months. Nikki and her top team. But is it all smiles now? Right. Or has her toothbrush oh, peeping the woman the in the window? Once again, Nikki's gone back to find out. Right. Yes. Oh, oh piss. Oh, look at you, gorgeous. Oh, amazing. Oh, Much more casual. Because she kept up with the perm. Amazing indeed. Jenny certainly not let her guard down where looking good's concerned. But Nikki wastes no time in reminding her how bad she was. Oh. Who is that? Oh. It's just that. It's just terrible. Who is that? Oh, wow. Can you imagine? If someone came into my house and was like, look at your old face, weren't you scum? I'd be like, I don't think so, Nikki. Oh. <gasps> well, she's looking now. Morning, noon, and night. Right. What? Do you feel quite paranoid about Brushing your morning, today? noon, and night. Oh, lovely. Mouth hygiene. Yes, we need I a am. clock three animation for this. You can eat three times a day. Yes. I'm really trying to um, take footage. Care. I kind of do actually look at them, which I never did before. I really haven't stopped smiling. I have not stopped smiling since the show. From a teeth cleaning dodger to a floss fanatic. Great to see you've got good habits, Jen. Oh. But what about your bad ones? I am smoking. I am I'm smoking. Oh, Jen. Oh, dear. And I really, really you? hate myself for it. And I want good. to knock it on the head. Your skin, your beautiful skin is going to be ruined if you go back to smoking. Ruined. Basically, after I finished the show, um, 
Mickey and I decided to kind of part ways. Yes! It was a real kind of watershed at the end of that show. Yes, yes, because he was awful. He was awful. There was nothing uplifting about that man. Good, he's gone. Dead, in the bin. Decided to kind of part ways. It was a real kind of watershed at the end of that show about what was I doing, where was I going. Yes. And suddenly I thought, I've got to take some time for me. I just can't... There's nothing like a bunch of plastic surgery to make you reassess who's in your life. I can't keep going mm. with my life, sort of as it was. Yes. So I took She's got a uh, massive six house. months off work, and I travelled to New Zealand all on my six own. Six months off That's work. That's amazing. Before the show, you wouldn't even step out your front door. I just feel more confident, more open, more prepared to share. Sorry, who, who, who can just take six months of work? Um, the, the, and that's the travelling has given me that. Are you dating or socialising? I am doing some socialising, but um, obviously I've been away, so mm. that's been a bit tricky. Yes. Um, but lots of socialising in New Zealand. I made friends, I had, you know, we went to dinner parties. Did you have some flings? Well, yes, but there was one problem. <laughs> oh. I went out for a drink with this guy and it was going really well. And then it, we did kind of the top ten movies and I thought I haven't heard of any of these movies <laughs> and I'm already thinking and it ter turns Jack, out that he was I like 26. What did he say? <gasps> oh no! I thought, I <laughs> oh dear. Not that much of an so age gap sis please. Funny. A year ago Jenny was turning heads but for all the wrong reasons. Now she's got it right. She looks good, she does wants look to lovely. look good, and works at looking good. I love a statement She swims necklace. four times a week, Swimming. has dumped the caffeine, and walking her dog is now just an excuse for the high heels and lippy. So what does the future hold for this single, gorgeous, confident woman? What now? You've been to New Zealand, you're back here. What now? What next? Back to New Zealand. No. Back what do you to mean? New Zealand. She's I'm going... so happy, I can't tell you. I've just been accepted for um, to study at university, a bachelor's degree in business New Zealand. and commerce at Wellington. Wow. Wow. So I'm she's so proud. had I've loads of plastic letter. surgery, oh, dumped see. her man and is moving so, abroad. Now, have you been to university before? No, never have. I'm it's proud well of that. done. That's amazing. It's brilliant. Wow. I do have those moments where I think, oh my goodness, can I actually do this? Can I make all this happen? But I kind of know it's going to be okay. It's a completely new life. Yes. yes. You've changed yourself completely from head to toe, and now you're changing what you love, what you do, who you mix with. You are completely and utterly changing your jungle. And she's a and new she woman. Is the queen of it. Old Scraggy Jenny has disappeared, and the new confident Miss Ingram is just simply a Miss head to Ingram. From the woman who once thought it was all too They late. are making her wear a lot of the clothes that they showed her a year ago, though. Do you know what I mean? So I wonder if they are a bit like, oh, go on, put the outfit on that we brought you. I kind of understand that I'm worthwhile making an effort for as a person. And that, I mean, that is huge, huge change for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Jenny is weeks away from starting her new life on the other side of the world. But for her friends and family, it's very much a case of I found you and then I lost you. Oh. Drink of commiseration to her father, who is losing a daughter. <laughs> it's brought her old, old competence back, and she's a different person. The future is gold. That I'm really, really looking forward to. <laughs> oh, lovely! Yeah. Wow! Well, wow! I'm quite surprised about that. Oh my goodness! Okay, I've got some thoughts, my loves. So, my lovelies, I have some thoughts about what we have seen today. First of all. This show, the way that this specific episode went, was a lot better, a lot more constructive, a lot more uplifting in terms of the people involved, like the surgeons. Even Nikki was a little bit nicer this episode compared to the last one we saw. It's because you're really flat-chested. And I actually feel like the outcome here was a lot more well-rounded and considered of what Jenny actually liked for her personal style and where she wanted her goals to go. I love the fact that basically this is a testament to the saying that I always say is when you look nice you feel nice because not only did she dump her trash partner she then went off and like lived an entirely new life like studying business and commerce in New Zealand like she's changed her entire life from this one opportunity of making herself feel like she's well worth the time and the effort and absolutely that that goes without saying like I'm in the beauty industry here 
realistically, like, my whole career has been spent in the beauty industry in some way or another. And actually having the ability to see this in such a concise way, even though this video is, what, an hour long of, like, just getting little few things done to yourself to make yourself feel of this very specific uplifted way has the possibility to completely change your life. When she started this transformation, it didn't look like she was in a good place mentally. And at the end, whether that's just the magic of television, I'm not sure, but I genuinely feel like she's a lot more uplifted and ready to go. I will say though, the worst part about this show is that narrator. The way that he speaks about the bodies is just vile. And also that little section of the magazine women, the style journalists in the magazine, magazines talking about like Kiera Knightley's figure and stuff. It just kind of makes me realize and remember how ruthless it was for celebrities in the public eye. It was ruthless. Like your body would be so debated and talked about constantly. Not even really about your career, just the way you look. That's it. So my lovelies, let me know about what you think about what we've seen today in the comments box below. I am fascinated to hear your feedback on this. And I would love to make some more of these ones. Let me know if you want to see more 10 years younger. And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreon. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen here, my lovelies. Yes, you can. I still fiddle around with my microphone at the moment because I'm still not used to, uh, I'm not used to it. I'm not used to having a microphone on like a long arm. Anyway, today's Twitch shout out goes to Java Kitten. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, I stream two nights a week on Twitch. That is Monday and Thursday, my lovelies. Go over there and follow me and you'll be in with a chance of being featured in my next video. I want to also say a massive hello and welcome to my new Patreons, Stacey Murto, Alessandra Shipman, Christine Heen, and Charlotte Bowes. Thank you so much for joining the Patreons, you stunners. If you're considering joining, check the link in the description box below to see all the tier rewards you can get. And with that, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons, Aloria, Dr. Dream Morella, Stephanie Neotupski, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Crafty Leaks, Danielle, Dr. A, Jevod, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Jenny Hendricks, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lisa Pennington, Min Min TM, Moisten98, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Rachel VC Biscuit, Romano, Ryan Vita, Sexy Texy RN, Sasha Smith, Slampire Queen, Stephu Tech, Trevor Full, Tromo, Victoria Carella, and Orcos Moji. Thank you guys for your continued support here on the Chanel. It is allowing me to thrive and survive, my lovelies. And you know what? I'm gonna leave it on the note of, I think I'll kind of drum this home this episode, but like taking that little bit of extra time to make yourself look nicer will inevitably affect the way that you feel. And I don't necessarily mean that just from like a vanity point of view. It could be going to the gym. It could be doing your favorite exercise. It could be putting on your favorite mascara. It could even be like wearing your favorite say something belt. But if you look nice, you'll feel nice. And with that, my loves, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yes.